This is the home page of a uh, HWA monitoring app. And uh, basically we're trying to show here the uh, brief of the each of the dashboard we have. So basically we uh, divided this uh, home page into a six vertical section and each of the section show the information with uh, one of the dashboard we have. And at the bottom uh, we have the option uh, as a button. So that will if you need more information, if you click on this, it will take you that uh, particular dashboard. So let me uh, explain you the each of this section. OK, so first is a uh, uh, talk about the jobs and job streams. So um, basically it uh, mm, uh, we thought it would be useful for the uh, workload application developer, uh, operator and uh, workload um, application users. So they they can see the uh, job statistics uh, along with the job stream information and uh, some of the critical job information. Let me uh, quickly open this uh, dashboard. So I have uh, uh, preloaded here uh, already open a new tab. So I'm directly jumping in there. So if you if someone need to more information about this, so they can uh, come to this dashboard. Uh, it here uh, basically it uh, listed the, all the job stream. As you see, first uh, this uh, box show the all the job stream along with the status of uh, each stream. And the second we're trying to uh, filter out the jobs on the basis of job stream. So let's say if someone is uh, interested to see the why this uh, first job is stream in an error status. So if you so see this, if you uh, filter out this on the basis of this, you see these are the jobs belongs to this job stream and this uh, the state is the error. So because of this error status, this job error status, this uh, stream is in an error status. So this kind of uh, test round can happen uh, from this dashboard. And also along with this, uh, it provides you the, some critical job information and also listed the all the critical jobs present in the workload automation. OK, so uh, let me go back to uh, home page again. So the second the vertical section is talk about the uh, KPIs and uh, it also provides some information about the workstation we have in the uh, um, one instance. So uh, here it uh, the uh, briefly it show the total uh, available workstation and uh, at the bottom it's showing the status of the workstation. So in here it showed the four available workstation and the four unavailable workstations. To uh, get the more information, we can click on this. Uh, I'm already open, so I'm just toggling the tab. So here it shows the uh, all the KPI information. The first uh, it's showing the uh, instance of uh, host, instance of workload automation. The second we have here option to filter out the workstation on the basis of their status, whether it's available or not. So currently it's by default selected all the it's showing all the available workstations. And if I want to see the what are the station unavailable currently, I can select this. It show the unavailable stations. And the second, we have tried to capture the uh, the database connection status. So currently, it's connected. So showing the success. And if if it's uh, uh, some uh, issue with the connection, it, it would uh, display here the connection field. OK, in the bottom uh, we are trying to capture the uh, KPIs information. So here it's a job on the basis of workstations, folder and the plane count. So if I click on any of the uh, KPI, it, uh, it will give me the options uh, available for this. So let's say I'm uh, clicking on the jobs of workstation. It's providing me the, uh, the workstations available. If I select any of the workstation, it would show me the statistics, uh, job statistics corresponding to this. So same uh, similarly I can see for the uh, jobs by folder. So here uh, we are doing kind of grouping uh, for the jobs. So I have two folder here, so it's showing the statistics corresponding to these folders. Okay, so uh, this uh, dashboard uh, uh, could be again useful for the uh, Y application users and the operators to test down the some uh, KPI informations. OK, going back to the home page again, the third vertical sections talk about the activity monitoring. It could be useful for the workload automation administrator. Basically, it gives you the uh, auditing information. So uh, let me take you to this particular dashboard. So here we have the option to the select on the basis of time. So if you want to see the activity of the particular time period, you, here you can select. So on the basis of uh, time, it will filter out the information. 
So here we are uh, trying to show the all the audit operation has been performed. The total events uh, that the operation, what operation has been performed and at uh, the bottom it would give you the information about the uh, you can filter out the information on the basis of the users. So let's say if you want to test uh, down the uh, to the about information about the respective user, what are the information has been performed by that user. So you can uh, switch out from here. It would show you the operation performed by this particular user uh, along with the audit type. The same uh, in the, here in the different uh, next box, we show the uh, audit, uh, audit uh, information on the basis of the object. So if I am interested to see the uh, some particular object, so I can filter out here and see the what are the operation has been performed here. Let me go back to the home page. The other vertical section we have it talk about the uh, infra monitoring. So basically it, uh, it show the information about the uh, infrastructure where the workload automation has been deployed. So in our case, it's showing the OCP information, uh, OpenShift cluster. If I again uh, see to see the more information, if I open, open the uh, dashboard. So uh, here we have to select the release, the workload automation release name. Then on the basis of this, it, uh, it will filter out all the information. So uh, connected, uh, it's showing the first uh, total nodes we have in the OpenShift cluster. Again, it's listing the nodes. Then the, along with this, uh, uh, it's showing the HWA deployment details. So we have three apps, workload automation apps, and uh, the, it's running in three pods. And again, we have the total eight containers belong to this uh, uh, workload automation deployment. And uh, this pie chart is showing the uh, the, all the container information and uh, it's divided on the basis of the events we are getting each of the containers. Then the next column, uh, next uh, table show the pods. The pods belongs to the workload automation it listed all the pods. And here we uh, can see the containers belongs to each of the pod. If I select this or any of the pod, it would show me the uh, all the containers belong to this pod. So it could be useful for the inference and for why infra monitoring. Okay, so again going back to the home page. So I have uh, covered the four um, vertical sections. The remaining two advanced analytics and the alert part, uh, it is not uh, implemented yet. Uh, it would be uh, released in a subsequent releases as a part of subsequent releases. So uh, along with this, uh, to jump the directly to the dashboards, we have the option in the menu bar as well. If you click on any of this, it will take you the dashboard, respective dashboard. I think I have uh, um, described the, what we have now.